Well, Switchy, you about to turn into a pit bull. Everybody, how are y'all doing? We have some gargantuan news. We have some huge, huge, huge news for this video. And next gen for Nintendo is starting to shape up. First, give the stream a thumbs up. Now, I had tweeted out about a day or two ago. I'm a little skeptical about what Nintendo is going to actually be doing for the power of the Nintendo Switch, but it's news like this that <laughs> makes me want to swallow, eat my words, and just get hyped that Nintendo will be going for a powerful console. Breaking new report by Bloomberg. 4K, RTX, DLSS, and we got the price by another reliable source, Mizuki Takashaki. <laughs> I butchered his name. I'm going to say his name right the next time I say it. But let's get to the specs. This is coming for The Verge and coming this holiday. Oh, my goodness, mate. I want it to come out before 2K drops, which is not going to happen because 2K comes out at the beginning of September. Oh! All right. OLED, the Nintendo Switch, reportedly uses a new NVIDIA chip with DLSS support. That's what the article is saying. The next Nintendo Switch will use a new NVIDIA system on a chip with support for DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling, according to a new uh, report by Bloomberg. This is crazy stuff. The chip is set to bring improvements to GPU and CPU performance, which the Switch badly needs. With DLSS serving as Nintendo's solution for displaying higher resolution images on 4K TVs. All right, DLSS was introduced with NVIDIA's RTX 20 series GPUs based on the Turing architecture. It makes use of neutral networks to reconstruct images in real time at a higher quality. Different versions of the technology have various, variously relied on the GPU's tensor cores and training the AI on specific games. But the upshot is that you can render a game at a lower traditional resolution and get a much higher output with minimal performance penalty. And that is, that last sentence is a, in a nutshell, what DLSS is in layman terms. I'm gonna say that again. Um, you can render a game at a lower traditional resolution and get a much higher output with minimal performance penalty, meaning the Switch can have more cost-efficient specs and still have great um, output resolution and performance. All right. That theoretically makes it a good fit for the Switch which often struggles to hit its own native resolution of native 720p in handheld mode or 1080p on a TV screen. It all, it's also not surprising to hear that the new Switch would require an all-new chip design from NVIDIA. The original Switch used a Tegra X1, which was announced in 2015 before NVIDIA stopped producing general-purpose mobile system on chips. With the Switch's success, though, it's undoubtedly worth NVIDIA's while to deliver a new custom design. All right. Bloomberg has already reported that the new Switch will have a 7-inch OLED screen. Today's report says the device is planned for this holiday season. 
And so, DLSS chip, 4K, and coming out this holiday. Also, Takashi Mochizuki. I told you I'll nail his name the second time. Takashi Mochizuki. Very reliable industry analyst. This dude has been spot on most of the time. This is what he is saying. He tweeted this out on Twitter. A lot of analysts say they expect new, the new switch will be somewhere between $400 and $350. Even with the $400 tag, he says, and he quotes, Nintendo can drive strong demand, our in-house analyst says. I just had this debate with some of my sponsors. Hey, you want to join a dope gaming community? Become a sponsor. Become a member of the OGC. Get to game with your boy. All that fun stuff. But we were talking about the price point. And I said it. For, don't be surprised if this new Switch will be 400 And I would actually be more comfortable at a 400 price point. Because if the new Switch was still 299 dollars I'll be skeptical of how much more powerful this thing can be. But at 400 bucks, they could cram in some PS4 Pro Xbox Series S type tech in that device because it has the screen and all that. It's going to bump up the price. But an Xbox Series S is $300. So the Switch comes more expensive than that. But with the technology to boot, I would be a happy camper. Two things I want. Seems like Nintendo's gonna deliver on one front. More powerful technology. 60 frames now is my minimum, man. I want these games to be at 60 frames on the Switch, especially the third party games. 2K has to run at 60 frames per second for me to get it on the Switch. NBA 2K. And achievements, achievements. Where's my dead horse? <laughs> Do I still have it in this uh, on this thing? Achievements. Yes, I have it. We're gonna beat that dead horse. Nintendo achievements mean you are invested in giving us more as gamers, bro. Give us more features, bro. We have zero themes is not at the top of my list. I really don't care too much about themes, but it's nice. We're asking for just a new theme for the Switch. Bro, every single game on my PS5 has its own background theme, bro. I can have a new theme every day. It's just crazy how far behind Nintendo is with technology and just features and stuff like this. And so give us achievements, bro. Then I'd be sold, Nintendo. I'd be happy. Camper. But until then... I'm primarily playing my PS5, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck, man. I'm going to keep it a B-U-C-K buck. But this is great, great, great news. They're going to enhance both the GPU and CPU. The next thing is, what about current Switch owners? I think Nintendo will go the Xbox route on this. Where... They're not going to leave behind. I think the Switch is pushing close to 80 million now, bro. I know it's, I think it's around 70, at least past 70 million. The Switch is selling like crazy. They have a strong user base for the current model. I do not see Nintendo just leaving behind millions upon millions of gamers. So the next, especially if, at least first party, third party that would probably be um, based up to the third party developers but the next Zelda Breath of the Wild just imagine Zelda Breath of the Wild only coming out on a Switch Pro dudes would rage and so I still think games I don't know how they're gonna make fit Metro Prime 4 if Metro Prime 4 is gonna be looking real good I don't know how they're gonna fit that on a Switch Pro time is gonna tell but we got in this video more information on the tech holiday price um, release date and the price. What do you guys think about this information? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, bro, 
click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro nintendo don't drop the ball or in this case mario don't drop the shell